People, welcome back to Politics Watch. This is Derpy. Now, I'm sure most of you would have heard about the whole big thing going on right now surrounding some deportees who are getting sent back into the country. Right? Now, there were supposed to be, be about 50 of them, but then a uh, plane landed in Jamaica on the 11th. Um, I don't know when you listen to this video, but a plane landed on the 11th carrying 17 people, and apparently there was about another 25 who due to the UK Court of Appeal ending up staying in the country for a little while longer because um, they, they didn't get access to, I think, phone calls or something like that. They didn't get access to their lawyer, so the Court of Appeal said, listen, because they, know, because they couldn't speak to them lawyer when they can't ship them out yet, but they did send back 17. Now, this 17 that came back into the country seemed to be the 17 where the UK now take no check with it and the UK desperately wanted to get rid of, right? Because according to the observer, um, the people who are coming back in, the people who came back in that 17, did a total of 15 and a half years for rape, 16 years for violent offenses, and almost 29 years for drug related offenses, right? 14 years for robbery with possession of firearms. So this 17, are basically criminals, right, and people who had served time and the UK desperately shipped them out. But I guess the other group, I guess the other crew of people who stayed in the country, they were not criminals, but I guess because of legal paperwork and they never sought out themselves for whatever reason. But that's not why I'm doing the video to the people, because you could have gone on the observer and read that for yourself. The reason I'm doing this video and what I want to address is something. I want to address a lot of the Jamaicans who find themselves in a certain situation as it relates to deportation back into the country. Let me break some news to you. And this might be shocking to some people. Um, we don't exactly want to send on the back down here. You know? Listen, when I read some of the stories about some of the people who are coming back into the country, Trust me, the best case scenario is in the stay one day. Because some of these people, right, are acting as if they are prizable and they, they might do Jamaica a favor by coming back down here. We don't want someone about down here. We have to be honest. Some of these deportees, I wouldn't mind if another country would just take them. People, when I hear that there are people getting who, who are faced with deportation, who are going to lengths such as pretending to see them as sprat just to stay in, a, in a the UK. People, I'm disgusted. People may get to understand say so you have a man. Man telling the UK home office so they can't come back to Jamaica because they must sprat and if they come back to Jamaica, man will go beat them and, and do something to them. Even though we know that's a lie. We know there are no group of Jamaicans going around looking for sprats to attack. We know that's a lie. Right, but because they want to stay foreign by any means necessary, they're willing to tell the UK Home Office and the British media that there are groups of Jamaicans patrolling looking for them who are going to hurt them because they must spread. Those are the lengths some men are willing to go to if they stay foreign. I hope when they live till now 300 over there. Whatever I want to get a foreign, but make them willing to go to them lengths there, I hope when they live till now 300 over there. Means the man I take overdose of pills to stay a foreign. Man I take overdose of pills, right? Put them man whether dead or foreign, right? Then come back to Jamaica, right? Now of course we know Jamaica have its problems, but some people are act like say, boy Jamaica want them come back. We don't want someone to come back. Someone can stay one day. I mean, let's be honest. There are a lot of talented Jamaicans abroad. We know the brain drain. Has had a major effect on Jamaica. Some of Jamaica's brightest minds were living abroad. We know that. But no found a foreigner either too. No found a foreigner just like Simple Simon, the country they missing. So when you face a deportation, I wanna go on like, oh boy, I can't go back to Jamaica because oh my dead over here so I'm gonna take some pill, I'm going to swallow 100 pills so I'm gonna have to go back to Jamaica. I hurry up and take them. Matter of fact, take 200 pills. Do us all a favor. Right? Because this is disgusting. What could I so bad about your country? Make you willing. Right? Figure take picture in a man lap. 
for proof to your spread. <laughs> people, I can't believe it. People, man, I take picture in a man lap. Man, I take picture of up man and a kiss man. To try to prove to home office, UK home office, said them a sprat. Just so that them can know, claim said them a victim, said them now have come back to Jamaica. That is what we've come to. As a foreign suite. As a foreign suite. People, this is getting out of hand. Listen, just stay one of them. Right? Because let's be realistic. It's not like say, no one wanna come back and make the country better. Because let me tell you something. You see, a lot of these deportees, no for the foolishness where you say go on to Jamaica. A deportee bring it back, you know. People, Jamaican badness used to be simple, you know. It was very simple. You see, no for the tricks them where certain local 87s learn. A, a Jamaicans go a foreign, go pick up foreign style of badness and then bring it back to Jamaica. No for these organizations, where you see, no for these clansmen and these organizations. No for the tricks them where them learn was man go a foreign. Go, 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 go see foreign style of badness and then bring it back home to Jamaica. Right? The boaties play a major role in crime at Jamaica. Major role. And the worst thing about some of these deportees who you see going through extra length to try to avoid deportation and all, take pill and all them things there. And I go let them want to let them want to let them rather throw a piece of rope around them neck and come back to Jamaica. The fact of the matter is, no for them not live no life of foreign. People, foreign is not easy, you know. People, foreign is not easy. I know Jamaicans have this image. So, once you touch a foreign things are going for you. People will travel all over the place, We've been all over the world. I've met Jamaicans in some of the strangest places in this world. Anytime we go to America, anytime we go to UK, anytime we go to them places. The reality of the situation is most Jamaicans now really live their life. Foreign is very difficult, right? Especially people. Remember, you know, England is a country. England is a country where I think you have to, you have to pay a, a license or a tax. I think it's called a license for what you own a TV, you know, people. You have to pay a license to the government for what you own a TV, you know, right? Even if you make a decent salary, tax is not it out. Tax is very high in England, right? New York, not for them places. Yeah. So let me say, not for Jamaican where you say I go and like say boy, or they might have did a foreign because they might live like king. They might live like king. Foreign is very difficult. And then when you add to the fact that the weather is so terrible, because when you start talking about Canada, England, New York and in place there, especially winter time, people is miserable. Miserable, miserable. England is a place where you're lucky if you see liquid sunshine. You're lucky if you see liquid sunshine. So all these deportees where I go through all these lenses as I say, man I sit down the man lap and I take picture with man. And I hook up man with proof, say. To, to UK home office, said the mass spread. Listen, as the British would say, get a bloody grip. Get a grip of yourself, mate. In it. <laughs> UK crew big up on yourself, in it. Right? But it look away, people. It look away when man go to them lens, uh, right? To make it sound like they might come back in our hell hole. Like them not live by heaven. They never live in heaven. Yeah, well, like it, I ain't gonna earn no good salary and I live no good life. Right? People, them places are some places where you have, you have to pay big money for a small little room, you know. Now, for the room in the country, I come like boxing, you know. Right? Jamaicans out here, poor Jamaicans out here, probably live in a bigger space than enough people in England who make good, good money. I've seen it in my own two eyes. I sit in New York, right? You chuck up in a little small box and you pay a big money feed. Right? If you, tell, if, if, if you were to spend the same money, for something like that in Jamaica, you don't live uptown. You know, a nice apartment somewhere. So, all of the man them, as me say, are the people them who I go through all these big um, rigmarole and go on the most way. Listen, let's come back here, right? As for the criminal one them, as me say, we really no want in the ear, but we don't have no choice. You know what I wish? I wish we could deport Jamaicans from Jamaica. Only you remember what I said? I said, I wish we could deport Jamaicans from Jamaica. I wish you could just take some of them money and ship them go somewhere else, right? Because all of them money will go around, right? As I as did the story yesterday, I have a, po- have a problem with the policeman and we took the man mother. All of them money will lit down pitney in a broad daylight, right? I go on like to say, them living in a, some kind of banana republic with no a rule and no structure. I wish we could just deport some of them money. Forget about Horizon, forget about GP, right? We wish we could just deport some of them money. Send them go on the next island, right? So they can live amongst themselves. So, people, I don't know. 
we could find out who are going with the next 25 now. Right, I don't know. I don't know if there's hope for them. Right. As I said, it looked like said they another criminal lot. So them probably have a little more chance of getting away and can stay over there. But all of my subscribers and viewers them. If you live a foreign, just please remember this. Remember say across the world we don't really have any friends. Anyone today, make sure you start out in yourself. Make sure you start out in the paperwork. Right? That should be the first thing on the David. You are all fully grown adults, make sure you have to tell you that. Right? Nobody feels say, oh, because we have history with our country and our country are doing this, say so them supposed to give back this. Nobody cares about you. Get that through your head. Nobody cares about you, especially in this day and age. When you see the type of leaders that are being elected, right, the world is getting more and more radical and more and more hostile to foreigners, especially people who look like us. So, as me say, as the British should have say, get a bloody grip of yourself, mate, in it. Patreon squad. Big up on yourself. Please like, comment, and share the video. Bless.